Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. Welcome to another vlog. <laughs> I'm still contemplating. Am I going to continue to do vlogs after this little vlogmas season? Because when I started doing vlogs, it wasn't for vlogmas. I started doing vlogs just because I wanted to vlog. And then vlogmas popped up and it was like, okay, okay, you doing vlogmas? And it's like, not really. <laughs> But I don't know. I'm still trying to decide. I got a whole makeup video that I need to edit that I completely forgot about. Okay, so I'm going to try and get to that today. But it's raining today, you guys. Let me show y'all out here in Cali. Okay, Tony, Tony, Tony lied, honey, because it's showing up rains in Southern California occasionally. Not very often, occasionally. So, yeah, let me show y'all. It's a little... It's a little rainy, rainy and wet and cold outside. Yeah, but you see here? I mean, y'all probably can't see the rain because it's not coming down like mad crazy hard. But it is, it's one of those cold, wet, lazy, I'm not leaving the house, I'm sure not driving on the street type of days. Okay, so... Yeah, we just gonna just do some things inside today. I do need to put some things away, but right now I'm about to start me some coffee. So I need to order me some more sugar. I use um like rock sugar in my coffee. And I get it from this like actual, like a spice place, but I use brown rock sugar in my coffee. And so it usually takes a little while for me to receive it after I order it. So whenever I am, you know, get down to about this much and I refill my little canister thing, I think I got this from coffee bean and tea leaf or something, I think a while ago, but yeah, I just keep my little rock sugar in there. Once I put my last little bit in here, then I know it's time for me to order because it can take me like two, three weeks, even up to a month to receive this in the mail. So anyways, I'm making my coffee. <laughs> Y'all, this morning I made me, I grabbed one of my coffees that I took from the hotel. Child, you better know as much as I spent on that hotel when we went to Hollywood. <laughs> I took the coffees that was in the little coffee thing because I didn't use them. But this is a house blend. Um, what is that? Is that decaf? Yeah, this is decaf. I think the one that I made is not decaf. So, yeah, it might have been this one. Yeah, house blend. So, yeah, I just, uh, I'm going to try out this coffee from the hotel and see if I like it. But, yeah, I got a little bit of stuff to do today. I think I'm going to take a look at my foundations. I guess y'all can look at me. I'm going to take a look at my foundations while I'm transferring them into a different holder or container. I'm still kind of torn. I'm going back and forth as far as whether or not I even want to fool with that today, but I kind of do. So, yeah, I'm going to give me some coffee, go sit down, take a look at my foundations as I try and figure out how I want to reorganize them. And then I definitely need to edit that makeup video and see what else i'm getting into today but honey when it rains when it rains in california i do not leave the house unless i absolutely have to which i think i probably am gonna have to because i'm gonna go down to the office and help hubby ship off some more um cookbooks today i believe so yeah i might have to leave the house today so let me get my coffee and then keep moving <music> Christmas memories. So 
you guys, I just sat down here. I want to go ahead and take all of my little new fragrance samples that I got from this Etat Libre the Orange, um, you know, fragrance company. <laughs> and I want to just stick them all in this drawer. This is a drawer that I keep over by my perfumes and it has all of my dossier cards in here. I keep all of my cards so that if I, you know, want to know what one of my scents is supposed to be duping or whatever, I just have the card for it right here and I can read it and read the notes and all that stuff. So I'm going to try and fit my little samples from this brand in this drawer too, just so I can keep it over there with my other perfumes since they are all nice and neat in these, um little cute boxes i mean i guess i can keep the box over there but it's not the most attractive looking box you know but the, since they're in these cute little boxes i'm like well maybe i can just put them all in here so i can still see the names for them and just line them up so i think i'm gonna do that i put my i have my coffee cup on this beautiful little coaster i got this from um you know jackie Ina's candle company what is it child my brain is not working this morning forever mood <laughs> forever mood i think her uh candle company one of the candle sets came with this gorgeous like marble uh coaster i guess to put the candle on and i don't really put my candles on coasters so i was like what am i gonna do with this so i'm just using it for my coffee this morning even though it's kind of small but it's really, really gorgeous. So I think I'm going to put those in there. I was looking at these fragrances here, just curious as far as the pricing. And I mean, you know, I guess they range around the same amount as more higher end designer type fragrances. You know, they have between $98 and $159. But one of them, like this Soul of My Soul, is like $239, child. That right there just make me want to smell it. This 500 years, that one is $239. So yeah, I'm going to go through and smell all these scents, especially the super expensive ones, and just kind of see, you know, if I want to purchase any of them. But I think I'm going to do that, and then I'll go ahead and grab my foundation. So... I can start organizing that. I'll show you guys the new containers I got for my foundations also. Unless you talking numbers, we ain't speaking about the right things. Switch up on my before I figure that's not like me. Batty with a body in the lobby, she like nice things. She used to know me then, she like me now, that's funny timing. Okay, you guys, so this is what I have all of my foundations in currently. This little, like, Lazy Susan display spinner rack thing, which is cool. You know, it's cool. It does make it easy for me to see what's in here and, you know, be able to grab it and all that kind of stuff. But this kind of awkward and I don't know, I'm just kind of tired of it. Right now I have like my, you know, like higher end or mid range foundations up here, you know, price wise and stuff. And then on the lower tier, I have like my drugstore, you know, and more affordable foundations down here. Which is, like I said, I don't even know if I want to fool with this today. But the um, the new pieces that I got from Amazon, the new acrylics I got was, this is one of them. And it's one of the ones where, you know, it opens up. It has like the, it's two pieces, so it's coming apart. See, it's like it has the drawers on the bottom. And then it has this part on the top, which is cool because I could just use this and use the drawers for something else if I want. But this part here, it opens up. And the reason why I grabbed this one is because it, you know, it goes a little bit taller. So, you know, some foundations are just a little bit taller. I could go ahead and not have to worry about what I can fit in here because they will all fit in here for sure but i also purchased these drawers 
let me move this out of the way do this with one hand y'all but I also purchased these tall drawers so I bought two of them and these are really tall as well and they're just drawers you know so I was like okay um I don't think I could fit all of my foundations in there so I bought a couple of drawers for them as well and thinking that I wouldn't be able to fit like my tallest foundations in here but when I kind of like, you know, just grabbed one of my taller foundations, I found that I actually can fit <laughs> the taller ones in these tall drawers. So I really didn't need to get that, even though I really like these. I like them a lot. It's kind of similar to the one that I have over here where I just keep some of my, you know, random makeup that I like to choose from. It's kind of like this one here. And I love these. It's like easy access. It has little drawers on the bottom. And it just works out nicely. So I really like to to use those. But I don't know. I'm going to sit here and figure out how I want to do it. Do I just want to put high end in here and then put my drugstore ones in the drawers? I don't know. But I'm going to figure this out right now. Unless you talking numbers, we ain't speaking about the right things. Switch up on my before a figure, that's not like me. Batty with a body in the lobby, she like nice things. She used to know me then, she like me now, that's funny timing. Eyes been on that prize, I cop that crib off for that timepiece. I'm trying to see the globe and sell out shows until the flight leaves. They wanna ride my ties, but they ain't even ride or die, please. But I've been short on time, been in the prime, I'm my prime easy. I said I never changed and leveled up, I guess I lied, yeah. Off that strain of potent just to feel like I'm alive, yeah. Mix that with that potion just to feel like I'm that guy, yeah. So know the one you talking to, you way outside your line, yeah. Go against the tribe, you lose your... Let me not even say this. I just ran out of my places. I just got tired of waiting and got here myself. They want me to believe in the dream that they see for they suffer still doubting themselves. They might as well light up the L. High top on ten toe, drip retro, talking major plays, hella high tech through the getro. Pin game, then petro. Just set it in the flesh hole. Send a text mail to give a wet clothes on the vapor wave to make a drip drip with the left lobe in the left stroke. I'ma make plays, I'ma go long. Never look back so so long. Yeah. Flex up. Shawty on 10, finna go up Bring that to the crib, let me show love yeah. I'ma make plays, I'ma go long Never look back so so long I need a plan, I need a plan yeah. Shawty on 10, finna go up Bring that to the crib, let me show love Ayy, okay. come from the pit, I'm out of the trench My nigga, we Look at the dread, my nigga, we ran, she all on my way I never let them play me, but they claiming the lines until I'm goaded, I'm going off. Loyal to my soil and the culture, I'm that chosen one. I just got her back, she wanna fuck, I think she know I'm star. I can't do no wrong, look in her eyes, she with a norm scar. They try to justify me going up like they don't know he raw. Off of that doze, just what they told you, I'm never sober. Gripping a split for the chip on my shoulder, trying to decode this. They label me thug, I keep it a buck, I don't give a fuck about it. Out of the mud, it's showing me love, my nigga, what's up? Out of my way, bitch, I need the paper. What you want, I mean, I know later. I keep it short with the conversation. Out of my lane, the crew got a brain in the cockpit with no hands on it. I've been the man with the plan, homie. Flip that to the man with the bands on me and the passport with the stamps on it. Yeah. I'ma make plays, I'ma go long. Never look back so, so long. Yeah. Shot on 10, finna go up. Bring that to the crib, let me show love. Okay, you guys, so for now, I just decided to go ahead and do it like this. I didn't really need that other top piece that opens up, so I'm sure I'm going to use that for something else in here, which is fine. But um, at this point in time, I'm actually kind of liking this setup. It's fine. I have, you know, my drugstore in here and then I have higher end in here and then I have just kind of like a combination up here because I wanted to put like my you know squeezy tubes or whatever together and then my stick foundations together that Morphe is just random I'm end up giving that to my daughter because it's too light anyway and then there are some more high end in here so yeah I feel like this is a nice little change just for now 
as you can see these acrylics are not the exact same size the one that has the drawers is just slightly smaller which is getting on my nerves but it is what it is i'll probably put a little bit of velcro tape down so it's not moving all over the place but yeah that's going to be my setup for my foundations just for now until i get tired of this but for now i kind of like that better i might even put it somewhere else in my room because i kind of like to keep some of my you know little tables a little bit more clear but we shall see honey we shall see it gets kind of crazy in here sometimes but that's it for the foundation for now so this is the vision board that i got you guys from amazon i got this one it's called the vision cloud and so this is what it looks like this is what the box looks like um sorry about the ring light but y'all understand so i want to just open this up and see what's in here i'm still going to or i still plan on doing the vision board with my girls you know through a uh, video chat but before we do that i do want to open it up see what's in here show you guys what it looks like so you know y'all can know what's in this one just in case you know you're curious about these pre-made vision board kits this one is the one I got, so let's open her up. Okay, so it has this little card in here. Thank you so much. Yada, yada, yada. 30 day money back guarantee. So, this is what the little paper looks like in here it has their socials on there all that good stuff okay <sighs> and they give you this it says the flower does not think of competing to the flower next to it it just blooms and i like that it's so true just get your bloom on girls get your bloom on and fellas too so okay so i guess this is the actual board huh Oh, so you put self-adhesive tape there. What is it for? Oh, wow. This is big. Child, I didn't know it opened up this big. Okay. So I can have me a whole lot, a lot of um stuff on here. Okay, so this is going to be hard because, you know, I only got so much space here. But anyways, so it says the vision cloud, you know, at the top. Opens up. This is pretty. I like this. It, um has little clouds little doves right here it's really really cute um down here it says think about your answers from activity one and two cover the vision cloud with the most relevant pictures inspiring statements and stickers that are provided plus add your own pictures and quotes so that's what i was thinking about doing in addition to using what they put in this kit I can still get some pictures from magazines and stuff. So this is how the kit looks. So it looks like there's some Velcro stickers, some little self-adhesive stickers here. Um, these look like different cards. Yeah. So I need to open that up. There's some different cards in here with different um, scenes. I'm, you know, assuming these look like affirmations. So a little stack of cards that have like positive affirmations and then this oh today is going to be a great day i like that so another stack of a bunch of different cards probably pictures and stuff in there so that's cool and then underneath what is this okay so monthly vision goal for i guess i put my name there how would i rate my progress last month what's my main goal for this month 10 things i need to action to achieve this biggest barrier holding me back this month things i will action to overcome this how will i feel when i achieve my 12 month goal i would assume keep going you can do it so I'm assuming there's 12 of these because it's, you know, like a monthly checklist. That is cool. This is really, really cool. Okay. And then what is this? Looks like there's some stickers in here. Yeah. So there's a bunch of stickers for my vision board. 
different things that I might want to do or accomplish. Very cool. And let's see, what is this? Okay, so it has the instructions on here. Activity one of the vision cloud will take you on a journey to understand your life and current situation as it is now. Activity two of the vision cloud will help you to have a clear understanding of where you want to be in the future and your goals. So, okay, very cool. Once you've completed A1 and A2, you can start to complete your vision cloud. Okay, very, very cool. So vision board is a visual creative tool that consists of images, words, and stickers that should be displayed in a place where you will see it every day to remind you of your most important goals and objectives. So yeah, that's what um, a vision board is all about, you guys. And I'm so, so excited for this. Okay, so activity one, basically, you're going to go through, I guess, and answer these questions. Is this one? Yeah, this is kind of thick. So it's nice and thick. So it has questions on here like, what am I grateful for? What am I excited for? What is my biggest uh, fear and why? Uh, what is my best achievement to date? So I guess it's just like kind of getting to know yourself and writing it down, putting it on paper, which is cool. And then activity two. It says it's to help you have a clear understanding of where you want to be in the future. What would make me feel content? How does my life look in one year? How does my life look in three years? I love this. Where am I? What am I doing? Who am I with? How do I feel? What three things am I going to do to overcome my barriers to change? Oh my gosh, this is so good so so good what am i going to do less of what help and resources do i need from others to achieve my goals child this is a really really good um vision board i like it okay okay so i'm excited now i really am i got all the tools that i need to achieve what i need to achieve I can't wait to open this up and start going through these cards and pulling out my pictures and my little quotes and all of this stuff. This is perfect. I love it. Okay. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys um, just in case you... Was this in here first? Child, I don't know. Just in case you were thinking about purchasing this one so you could you know, see for yourself what actually comes in here. And what to expect and if it's even something that will benefit you i think i might have paid like 40 dollars for this i think and it's really 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 cool so yeah so that's it that's the vision board that i have i cannot wait to do this with my girls hopefully we can carve out some time really soon to do it together but yeah so that is my vision board y'all Hi, you guys. Okay, so as you can see, I'm riding in the company van right now. Hubby got me out in the rain doing company stuff, you know. We got to still take care of business even though it's raining outside. Let me show you guys what it's out here in sunny Southern California. It is rain, rain, raining. Okay, so, but yeah, so... We're uh, on a little field trip, right, Boo? Yeah. <laughs> right, you know what we're doing? What? We're going to get books. As yeah. the books are being ready, I just go pick them up by the thousand. You know what I mean? So they got them today. They're going to be closed tomorrow. So guess what you'll be doing when we get back? We what? stuff an envelope. <laughs> we, we ship them. And Matt, if you watching this, bro, you got to wait lucky on these couple thousand here. <laughs> So yeah, that's what we're doing today, you guys. Fun stuff, fun stuff, but it's all good, you know. We blessed to be able to do it. So yeah, we about to head on out here, pick these up, drive very safely, of course. You know my nerves be bad in the rain. <laughs> when it's they raining, bad no matter when. You know what? Her nerves bad. Her <laughs> nerves bad no matter what. Whatever. My nerves not bad, but. You know, it's just 
people don't know how to drive in the rain that's all so anyways um you know if i can get a little footage of, you know the pickup and all that stuff i'll check back in but just wanted to say hi let you guys know what we're doing today on this rainy afternoon and uh yeah i'll talk to y'all later Falling deeper, cold and nice, that no more shit on. Kids are digging in the no more kid on. Just don't let's hide a wish you go. Kid, I'm an island, go to him, get on. No, I can't, just can't. Cause your name, I'm burned. Not your name, got some burned. Tabacho, Sara, again. We made it here to the binder, you guys. We're picking up books. We're getting some pallets in the van. So exciting stuff. This is cool. I get to share this with you guys. I mean, if you care, you know. But just in case you're new and you're not sure what's happening, um, Hubby has a cookbook out with Mr. Make It Happen. And so we're getting some of the books, completed books, here um, put in our van so that we can get them shipped out. So we'll be busy, busy tonight and tomorrow getting them shipped out. So. This is one palette of books so far. I'm on yeah. 